So we're gonna go to the Caterium node. Uh, we can make AI limiters now. So I've made some, and we're gonna do the research on the smart splitter, and we'll check in with that later. Just going to check up on the research in the MAM. The Smart Splitter uh, Analyst is complete, which was something that was in the Caterium tree. Uh, the next thing here, as you can see, we are now starting to enter needing plastic uh, and items like that, which is part of our next milestone or what we've unlocked now. We need to go and get some. Uh, so we'll be working on that next. But the Smart Splitter. The Smart Splitter is the new splitter under Logistics here. And it requires uh, three products to make. Your reinforced plate, your rotors, and your AI limiters. And what they allow is you can have multiple products coming down the line and you can define what goes where. I'm going to demonstrate smart splitters uh, and the use of uh, overflow with them and how you can um, use that overflow for things like feeding excess products into the resource sink. So what I've created here um, I have this uh, this container here that's currently empty and this feeds the first smart splitter. This smart splitter is configured so anything coming in, uh, if it's concrete, it will go to the right. And here I've got a container that is almost full of concrete. Then uh, the center output is anything undefined will go through the center and to the left is overflow. So when this is full, any concrete will continue to come through and so it can go overflow uh, and be dis disposed of. Now that could go into a sink straight there, but I'm sending this into a merger to go into the next uh, splitter. So the next smart splitter is configured so that the right will, steel beams will go to the right and in this here I've got a nearly full container of steel beams. Uh, any undefined will go straight ahead and overflow any excess steel beams will go to the left. And then then there's our final container that could be our resource sink or whatever. Um, this is how you can set up uh, a central storage so you feed all your products in and they get put in storage containers and then when you've filled your storage containers up, uh, the excess goes to a sink and your production line doesn't back up because it's always being purged because the products that aren't being used are being sunk into the sink. Um, so let's show you this in process, how it works. So I'm going to put some concrete in, 50 concrete, there it goes. This is uh, apparently, yeah, it's concrete goes right. It should go right. But suddenly it's backed up and now the overflow went ahead and then it went ahead because it was an undefined and ended up in here. So then next, uh, let's demonstrate if I did some plate. So if we put plate in, now there was some concrete in the buffer there that got forced through, that's fine. But you can see the plate is just jamming all the way through. It's not going here. Uh, it's just because this is an undefined product. Uh, now, steel, steel beams. Let's put the steel beams in. Here come the steel beams. Bang, bang, bang. And eventually, when that box fills up, there you go. Out it gets pushed and merges in. And you can see that uh, there is, you, you do see some plate coming through occasionally. That's because the internal systems have buffers that hold other products. Um, now, what I do want to show you is, 
something else. If I take out a hundred concrete, so that fills up, and if so, these are all Mark Three conveyor belts. Everything's matched, but let's make this a Mark One conveyor belt. And now, let's put uh, concrete in here and see what happens. So, right now, what's happening is concrete is overflowing. That's because I'm sending 270 concrete per minute in. To the right, I'm only sending 60. So the remaining concrete is overflow. It has to go somewhere. So that's something you have to be very careful with when you're using uh, these types of setups and you want to just trickle something off. You have to remember that if the product is not being fed fast enough, it will get wasted uh, and sent somewhere else. Uh, but that is the principle behind using the overflow in the smart splitters. Now I'm using the, uh, the mergers to allow me to chain multiple together. Now there's obviously a limit to how many of these you can do and that limit is how much product you can feed on the conveyor belt speed you have at that point in time. Uh, and later down the track, you can get programmable splitters that allow you to do multiple things on one line. So instead of here having overflow on a separate line, I could have overflow any any undefined in the middle item, uh, and it would not and it would mean I wouldn't need to have this merger here. But that's an advanced uh, product uh, piece of equipment you don't have yet, but setting it out this way means that you could transition to that later without having to do much changes uh, so uh, good luck with your overflow it's a great way to earn coupons and keep your production base uh, always running and not run dormant